As students of the academy learn a nonviolent approach to self-defense, they practice with each other mindful techniques that will suit them if they ever find themselves in a threatening situation. I think it's really fun and it's good for my mind and body. Flora Wrights is a student of the training facility and the first child under the age of 15 to receive a belt from the Kiwana Jiu-Jitsu Academy. It's a gray and white belt. It's my first belt that I earned. The eight-year-old has been studying martial arts for some time before adding jiu-jitsu to her training. She's been with us for a little over six months. Uh, she's been training jiu-jitsu overall for a year and a half, and uh, she's also been training karate in the past, so this was a good transition. Head coach Stan Myaskowski took over the academy in 2017 after its previous owner left to pursue other interests. He says that the academy recently became eligible to participate in the children's belt ranking system, and he expects that other students will soon be sharing Flora's new status. Really excited because um, just a few months ago I was given the ability to start promoting the kids and um, working on belting them through all the way to Blue Belt. Blue Belt is the highest rank that a child can receive before reaching the age of 16 when he or she would enter the adult ranking table. This builds confidence, it builds discipline, and you know, the goal is to never actually use this in the street, but just knowing the ability that you can defend yourself gives you a confidence unlike anything else. Have you ever had to use your self-defense training? Well, I have had to get out of chokes for my brother, too. He <laughs> likes to try to get me, and we like to wrestle, so. She also says that she's looking forward to earning many more belts as part of the program. For ABC 10, CW5, I'm Keewanaw Bureau reporter, Lee Snitz.